I'm leaving to Europe for the summer! Barcelona, Marbella, Ibiza. Ibiza. And what does one want when they're gonna be in a bikini? Feeling them best self. You know what's the worst way to feel your best self? Undergo invasive surgery. <laughs> Got the boobies out, wasn't able to work out, swollen from the antibiotic, feeling broken because I had to spend like so much time like this. So we are on our A game for 30 days. Get ourselves ready for Spain, Sweden, Europe. Fun, hot girl summer. And I guess fitness YouTube calls it summer shredding. We're doing summer shredding at uh, the Kelty edition. <laughs> Bring you guys and vlog this entire month as I get ready for Ibiza. Post surgery, I was feeling swollen and sore, which I expected from the medication and my body tissues repairing themselves. This month, I set out to slowly build back into the habit of a workout routine, get back into my skin and stretching routines to leave Europe feeling my best self. Two weeks post op, I literally ran one to five meters snail pace to keep my running streak, so I did not interfere with recovery, but I kept the habit of running. The next two weeks, slowly adding more kilometers every single day at a pace that my body could fully recover from. It is the first Monday of this summer shred. Four days of this, and what I've done, put you on the air fryer. Here's, I've did laundry for the first time since surgery. It's, it's those little things. Fill in four water bottles a day, and I just like cut up a bunch of veggies, so there's no excuse not to get my fire burned. Toss them in oil, throw them in the air fryer. Boom, I got probiotics. Oh my God, I needed this. I've just had the, the worst gut problems I've had in so long because I was an antibiotic. Like, I literally look six months pregnant. It was not cute. Literally my gut being like, give us probiotics. What are you doing? Why'd you kill all of us? We don't have the digestive food anymore. Help! Probiotic, chef kiss. No booby check. <laughs> we flapped, baby. It is so small and it seems so minimal, but dressing cute. Got like the legacy collection from Gymshark, so this bandeau, which is so exciting to wear post surgery, put on a tan. Yes, those are band aid fixes, but I feel like when I feel I look good or put together, I want to do more good things for me. It is a fabulous Saturday. This morning I DJ'd a workout class at the studio. We went to Cactus Club on English Bay on the ocean. I just got a Mediterranean bowl. I don't know if this will work for everyone, but it works for me. During the week lately, not strict, but just like have a bit of a meal plan. Sunday I write out, here's what I'll have for breakfast each day, some snack ideas, some lunch ideas, some dinner ideas. I buy everything for that. And I have like an idea of what I'm gonna eat. Just so I don't have to waste mind energy. I used to feel real guilty, especially having a fitness channel. Like every day I had to be like something beautiful, otherwise I was being restrictive and I found like that exhausting. I was like, no, I kind of during the week want to kind of eat the same thing every day. So I'm not wasting energy. I do dinners, kind of fall into a routine, like every Tuesday's tacos, Mexican. And then Saturdays and Sundays, I have no plan, just go with what I feel. For example, today I was like, you know what? Check out a local cafe. Oh, oh no, oh no, I, I, I screwed up the side. Oh my God, look at this beauty. She mother effing thick. If you give me a pickle with my sandwich, even if it's this tiny, five star. Wow. Turkey, ham, mayo, veg. Are you team pickles, yes or no? They're the best hangover here in the world. If you listen to the podcast, you know. Not sponsored, out of pocket. I just really like ghost supplements. I need a new like electrolytes. Like, when I do DJ streams late at night, they're like an hour, it's concentration. But I don't want caffeine, so I found like a non-stimulant. It's for gamers. I'm a gamer. <laughs> use it for music. Sometimes I feel like getting a vegan protein powder just, just because. Mental health check. I had a panic attack. Well, I felt a panic attack brewing today. And it was one of those, if you've ever experienced, you feel like this, you feel like underwater. And, and one thing that really helps me is like running, explosive exercising, blasting music, dancing, like physical outlets help. And that's why I like to work out in the morning to push those aside. Today, I had to get up and film a podcast. I didn't have it. And I just felt like I felt I was drowning like this. What helped, and so if any of you are feeling this right now, you're like, I feel underwater, there's overwhelmed, this, everything. Just take a second and let, let it out. Cry. I had a good cry today. So if you feel that right now, just give yourself, or maybe three seconds, just let it, let it out. Well, one of you might need this right now. Okay? That's good. Let it. Purge it. You need to. Sometimes we build up too much energy and it's like, uh, I have that. I have, if I don't let it out, I self combust. 14 days into the summer shred was actually one month into recovery from my surgery. So I was able to do mobility and body weight exercises. Still not allowed to do weights, especially upper body ones. And it was tough to do lower body. So you have to hold the weight. 
but I really wanted to get working on my mobility, my core strength. So I did a lot of exercise for my 30 day ab routine video. I have something coming up for that. And then just getting back into the habit of going to the gym, even if it's just five minutes stretching that I could do at home. I just wanted the habit of getting out at the same time every day and going to the gym because it's so easy for myself, especially to just get into a different routine and completely forget to go to the gym. My range of motion is crap right now. Worked on it for so long and now I feel like I'm back to square one, but it will come back. I'm sorry, that was probably the most unappetizing demonstration of mayo. <laughs> but I'm making a wrap. It is Sunday, I'm going grocery shopping, so I just thought I'd clean out my fridge. So I just literally threw all the veggies and meat I had left over in a tortilla and added mayo and sriracha, and then the leftover veggies with some hummus, the remainder of my hummus. Honestly, I'm very happy. It's not exciting for the internet, but I'm content. Oh, I like. <laughs> My little bumblebee. Buzzing. It's buzzing. We're doing a two a day today, so I did berries in the morning, and now I'm going to rage all night dance. My best friend's in town, so we're going out because. This whole summer shredding is preparing for Ibiza in Spain. Practice makes perfect. Matching set, this is gonna be the vibe all summer. This matching short set. Sometimes you're in a rush and it's just blueberries, oatmeal, and peanut butter. This morning I went and did a Pilates and then I did my run. Feels good just to get back into a gym setting. I, I felt kind of down on myself the last two weeks. I almost forgot I came out of surgery and it was like about slowly getting back into it. But I was like, why'd you let yourself go? You're not as in good shape. You don't feel- I just had surgery. <laughs> That, does that resonate with someone? The thoughts in her head? If any of my friends came up to me a month after surgery, I was like, I'm just not in the best shape, but I'm feeling physically not as great as I normally am. Girl, you got out of surgery a month ago, but then me, I'm like, Ugh. you're a failure. But anyways, to put me in a better mood, I'm DJ right now. I'm making a summer vibe. I had this set vision for so long. Every song that I hear, and I think summer, I think on a boat, beer in hands, mimosa, seltzer, white claw, whatever your drink of choice is. You guys, so I'm excited, I'm excited. It's gonna be so perfect for partying or workout. We're doing Pilates. Sometimes you need like the lowest bearing fruit. Like I just wasn't feeling like intense weight training. I won't lie, just cause I know I could so limitedly do it. So I felt kind of lame. I went to berries and could barely do most things. I was like, oh. these Pilates I can like almost fully try. So it's been nice like getting back into that habit of just like booking a class, going to the gym. It's been feeling really nice. Like open me up and getting those muscles like firing again. And I, I feel like I like always go through cycles for this. Like I'll be like very Pilates, yogi, walk, swimming. And then I'll go just, I just be active and like tennis and basketball. And then I'll be like, I want to be fast at track. And like, it's kind of the cycle. I've been so lame, but yeah, this has been my breakfast way too often. <laughs> just blueberries, oatmeal, and then the quickest protein source. Sometimes protein powder, sometimes eggs, um, just with some veggies. Simple. It's not sexy during the week usually. As my breakfast is making, this is when I sip on my athletic greens. It's so nice. I just feel wellnessy. It's like the first thing I have in the day. I'm like, ugh, call me that girl. Just woke up in the doms. I'm so sore.
As I'm making oatmeal blueberries and nut butter for the fourth time this week, I thought I'd also chime in. If you just want a healthy thing, something that's like so easy to do, just eat a handful of berries every day. That the antioxidants, there's so much research on it. They taste delicious. Honestly, I just buy the cheapest berry, most seasonal one. Ghost Gamer Turtle Ooze. I'm gonna taste this, review for you guys. I don't know how to describe the flavor. I think creamsicle, but the orange is lime. Wow, wow. Now, today's healthy thing we're doing. Get ready, sexy as there can be. Just wait for this. Getting my teeth clean. Am I chugging a pop right before I go into the dentist? <laughs> yes. I'm making sure they have, I have bad teeth so they make money. I'm a good person. Save the dentist. So far this week, I've been doing Pilates, running, and then my ab routine, which you guys saw on my 30 day. I actually just filmed a full day. That video will be coming because I got so many questions of like, what was the specific routine I did for my 30 day abs? That is coming up in a full video. So I got that for you guys. So we're doing j -Bright. it's a hot room Pilates. So I can't bring you in. I'm with Ash. <laughs> I'm so excited, it's my first time. We're we'll bring her through. Done, I'm a sweaty mess. I just made these oat donuts, rolled oats, applesauce, baking powder, egg, protein powder, just blend it up and then I tossed in a whole bunch of berries and then I'm gonna mix up coconut oil and either some cocoa or some like peanut butter in it and like mix it and drizzle it on top and that's gonna be just a nice little snack. While I'm making that, I, I made a smoothie and threw in granola. Also, I thought I should say, I'm sorry if a lot of these aren't like the prettiest recipe ideas. I'm just showing you some things I'm eating because the reality is the recession I am feeling. Like I wanna go away this summer, spend money, have fun, Food prices are insane right now. It's tax season. I, mean, I don't got the money to spend on those little extra things that are so aesthetic that I know YouTubers and influencers do. I'm just trying to have some nutrient dense food, save money, have some fun on weekends. Oh my god. A tub of yogurt yesterday, I looked, was $9. If you're like, wow, this is weird food inspo, it's more of like we're in this together. How these bad boys are, oh baby. You know what? They look more like bagels, but that's all right. I didn't measure these if you wanted exact each time I just throw in. And my inspo for these protein donut things at Body Energy Club in Vancouver and they're so good, but they're like $15 for two of them. We're cutting that cost. Really, they're just pancakes made in a donut tin. These are quite sad. I, I don't know if I recommend this now. If reflected on, they'll, they'll taste good, but um, I don't know why I'm acting like this is advice. <laughs> we are at Parlor with the one and only. Do you have your SPF on? No. <gasps> Hiram, come for him. <laughs> what you guys want to make? These nails scream hot girl summer. All four food grew. <laughs> That's my first nice. nail breaking my fast. <laughs> That's going straight to the dome. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, that looks stunning. Classic table suite. Best trick in life is to get friends that need to take photos. A food for Instagram, and then you eat for free. <laughs> for session people. Oh, the beverage you know is perfect. The waivers, the controls video. That looks so good. I leave to Sweden in five days, and I'm in that place. You don't want to buy groceries, but you don't have enough groceries from yesterday, so you just start having whatever's left over. So, oh my god, I was about to complain, and I realized I was like, this is the biggest first world problem. I didn't even drink the Nespresso pots I wanted. I just drank the random ones from a sample pack today. And that's what I've been drinking. It's nice, but I'm just like, I, I don't, they don't have net labels on them, so I don't know what I'm gonna get. So I'm just praying they have caffeine. One of the most satisfying snacks in the world. It's that crunch. I thought you craved my apple, I know. Right now I'm editing, finishing up that for the day, then I'm gonna do a DJ stream, but I'm gonna go grab lunch. 
I picked up this awful habit in 2020. I would just leave the room, grab the meal, plop it down on the couch, sit here. And like, I'm still in work mode. I'm sort of like, my mind's jumbled, though I can think about his work. I'm sitting here eating. I haven't even like, comprehended that I'm eating. I was resenting the food because I had to think, and then I felt guilty about the food because I was like, you could be working more, and it was just this weird, everything was fine. It was just this weird mind game of just being like, why are you stopping to eat? Go keep working. But like, I needed to stop and eat. Versus before, I was like, oh, I'm gonna stop, leave the office, even though I don't have an office, but I like go to a coffee shop, eat, call a friend. I would have some separation, and you can take a break in the middle of the day to have lunch. But what I've done that has really changed it, Oh, and I'm going wellnessy on you. No, it works, it works. We ordered one. I didn't have somewhere to go, so we're gonna take our meal, walk it to the table, put it down, I'm gonna sit, and we're gonna meditate. <laughs> oh, I know. Some people this would be praying, if that's your religion. And literally, I spend just a few minutes, and I just sit here. We are ending that. That is over. And every day is different. Sometimes I'm like, what are my goals? How is this meal gonna help lead me towards my goals? It's like, I got a hard run, I want it to fuel me. Other times I'm like, I think like how nutrient dense this is and how like, I just think of my body like flourishing, soaking up all the micronutrients. <laughs> this is so cheesy that I'm saying this. And half of you are here like, she's given us meditation and she's also the person who's like, the whole point of this video is getting excited to go rage my face off in a bees. You know what? Life is about contrast sometimes. It's a vegan. Bombay? Is that how you say it correctly? I'm so sorry. Delicious. Ooh. Pow, 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 pow! Tofu. Some rice. Some marinated spinach. Some marinated mushrooms. Honestly, mushrooms deserve more respect. That was probably the ugliest smile I put on the internet. No. We all know the ugliest smile I put on the internet. <laughs> the packing for Europe has begun. To be packing! <laughs> There is only one tip I will ever give results in instant 10 pound weight loss shredded getting a spray tan. So the perfect way to celebrate this 30 day shred is just to feel good in bikini. That's really the whole premise. So we're just trying on a bunch of my little bikinis, see if they fit before I go to Spain and Barcelona and Ibiza. So we have the night bikini, this bad boy. This is another one of the night ones. I'll show you the behind, but it is not safe for the internet. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. Oh, baby. Time to test the chips. Mm. I'm in Europe. Look what was waiting for me in Europe. Whitney's new collection. Are these not the most beautiful colors? This green, navy blue, this blue. Like those are my favorite. Oh my God, she killed it. So that is what I'm gonna be wearing all summer in Europe. Actually, I'm wearing it right now. That's what I was wearing today. It launched yesterday, so Thursday, June 23rd. So I'll put my link down below. This vlog is ending to be continued as I go into Europe and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Run streaks in Marbella, late nights in Ibiza, tapas, yummy food, travel, working out while you travel tips. Now I showed my before and after. I'm not changed like always. I know I showed these before and afters because that's just what fitness YouTube, I've, I've consumed fitness YouTube for so many years and that's what it is. But have we grown past that? Because for me, I prefer someone just explaining where they're at the beginning and then show at the end them going living life. Show me in Ibiza, just living. Versus like a set before and after. I feel we've all have grown that because we all know everyone can fake it. It's literally just me putting out a spray tan 99.9% of the time and getting my act a little together. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Little update. Next week there will be a vlog. I debunked this thing that a lot of uh, celebrities and models do and I want to see if it's really the secret to deep puffing deep loading so that will be up next week and then I am taking a two-week hiatus off YouTube I'm super nervous about it but I'm traveling documenting for you guys but I'm taking two weeks off for the first time in like forever unwind work on some music be with friends you can keep up to date on TikTok I will be still posting music streams and the podcast pre-recorded those a July 1st upload and then the next upload will be either July 22nd or 29th so put on the notification notification bells just so you guys know when I'm back and I'm back big. I am so excited that we'll start that new season. This is the end of season premiere with a little yummy thing next week. Most importantly, have a great summer. Enjoy. You have just survived a pandemic. Regardless of how you're feeling, go celebrate. Wear that outfit you want to. Most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.